unfortunate that politicians have taken advantage of uh, probably getting appointment in the name of board members and uh, maybe those chairing the board to want to actually take advantage and see if they can make something out of it. I, I want to emphasize on this because uh, what we're seeing playing out in uh, national health, uh, health insurance scheme is actually a continuation of what we've witnessed some moments back. Remember, there was the same suspension of this same uh, uh, executive secretary, sometimes back by the office of the Minister of Health. And uh, thank God, uh, President Mohamed Buhari looked into the issue and decided to now reverse that uh, suspension. And uh, he brought this man back. Uh, I, I want to tell Nigerians that for us that have been following and watching keenly, we realize that this is a part two of what happened. The part one was what the minister did. And the part two is what the chairman of the board is now doing. A politician that has made her mark so much in uh, the administration of PDP, and she came into this particular administration also through the favor that is being done through political, uh, let, let, let's say, let's say uh, Must come in at uh, this point ingenious. and ask you this question. Why then is he being suspended on allegations of impropriety of funds? 10 billion Naira, we hear to invest in government bonds. Is that the right step to take by the NHIS boss? Um, I can tell you, Gimba, that this is mere allegation. Uh, the newspapers are there. The social media platforms are there. Or let me say the electronic media is there. We have never seen for one day and one moment where there is every evidence proving that that 10 billion from NHIS has been uh, invest, uh, invested by the, uh, by the executive secretary. I think from the document available to us, we can tell you categorically that they are making up that. Let me tell you the crisis there. Uh, health maintenance organizations, known as HMOs, are powerful people in the society. These are people that are actually in control of this scheme. Uh, recently, the same executive secretary made his way when he got back that is after yeah, his suspension, he came back and compelled HMOs to pay back about 1.2 billion. Meaning these monies were somehow illegally paid, paid to the HMOs. And this man ordered the money to be uh, retrieved back. And this is one of the serious grudge going on. The HMOs are not happy. And again, uh, like I was saying, uh, the the, the, the chairman of the board, who happens to be a politician, trust me, ever since her appointment, this woman has a kind of burden on her. And this burden is like, I'm a politician. Not here. She's not soon. here to substantiate your claims. So we'll have to leave her out of this and uh, tr just try to focus on the, on the issues. Uh, just one of the biggest uh, issues right now, just moments ago, uh, the NHIS boss, he responded on his suspension in release, saying that he was not notified of any petitions which the chairman referred to in announcing his suspension. He said that the sections quoted by the councils, NHIS 6J and 7A and J, uh, as well as the public service rule number 0304 and 06, does not confer powers of appointments, suspensions, or removals in respect to his office. Where does this stare the debate next? Exactly. You see, uh, if you remember recently, there was a, uh, from the office of the secretary to the federal government, in his wisdom, he actually made public some document. In fact, I can remember vividly that he, there was a session where he, the secretary, was reading uh, the riot act to some of the crises going on within the government agencies. And the SGF made it very clear that, look, there are areas where the board, I mean, there are demarcations between the responsibilities of those, the board and also that of the executing officers, which is the, uh, somebody like the executive secretary, which it's made it very clear. Like the executive secretary pointed out in his statement this evening, it is clear that the acts actually dwell more on that it is the responsibility of the president, and uh, that is the commander of uh, the armed, armed forces, to actually appoint those, either the executive secretary and members of the board. Now, the, the areas where this particular board or the council has powers is the appointment of probably some of the directors and some appointees in the agencies. The law is there. So why 
twisting this law. If you look at what the council quoted in the purported letter of the suspension as of release yesterday, you could see clearly that there wasn't a clear terms of powers given to the board or to the council. So you could, you could feel, you could understand that, look, there's some element of desperation playing out. That is to tell you that, yes, I think corruption is somehow trying to be denied. And again, corruption in a way trying to force its way and fight back. So, Gimba, I think uh, Nigerians are understanding that once, once there's a serious minded individual who is let me, let me no come in here again is that this debate on system. whether or not the hmos remit to hospitals or is it something different S sorry Jim, but can you take that question is this again? debate sorry. about hmos remitting funds to hospitals okay yes you see the the, the, the hmos again like i'm saying not until uh the executive secretary professor usman used to stood his ground to ensure compliance with most of the regulations governing the activities of, of the uh, of, of, of HMOs, before now or before his uh, his, his presence, it was business at, uh, as usual. These HMOs were not really paying hospitals. You could go to the hospitals. In fact, uh, you could hear the, the the beneficiaries of the programs are really really complaining. I mean, the scheme. They are really complaining, telling the whole world that the scheme was not working. Not until now. And, and uh, kudos to the executive secretary that they are fighting today. That man is no, I mean, is somebody that does not tolerate uh, unethical or, on, on, I mean, undue activities within his agencies. And this is what he's getting back from the, the, the uh, supposedly members of the board that are supposed to work with this man and ensure that the citizens enjoy the scheme. Even though uh, uh, a lot of people in the NHIS will argue with you that perhaps those your submissions should be verified uh, to the last letter. I must indeed thank you, Garba Ibrahim, a social commentator, uh, for talking to me on State of the Nation. And that's where the program uh, will come to a close. I want to thank you as well for being a part of it. I'm Gimba Umar, and this is State of the Nation. Bye for now.